We've all heard the advice to eat more seafood, two seafood meals a week. But the question is, what do you do with that piece of fish when you get home from the market? Hi, I'm Liz Weiss, and today I'm going to make teriyaki salmon in foil. It's super easy. Let's get started. We'll begin with the salmon. And salmon is one of my favorite fish because it's so high in heart-healthy omega-3 fats. So this is a good one to include in your diet. When you're at the market, ask the guy behind the fish counter to cut four pieces for you. These are all about five or six ounces each. And ask him to also skin the fish. Make your life easy. All right, we're gonna make a nice sauce for this salmon. We're gonna begin with a quarter cup of light teriyaki sauce. So a quarter cup of that. We have a tablespoon of brown sugar. And we have a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. You're gonna get big Asian flavors from this oil. One teaspoon, believe it or not, is all you need. It goes a long way. And now we're also going to add some ginger, fresh ginger. Now, you can mince the ginger yourself, or you can be a little sneaky and use one of my favorite shortcut ingredients, and that is bottled fresh minced ginger. Right here, we've got one teaspoon. And finally, we'll add a teaspoon of cornstarch, and this is gonna help to thicken our sauce as it cooks. And we'll whisk. I love vegetables, and this dish has two of my favorite veggies. All you need is one large carrot that you cut into matchstick thin pieces, as you can see here, and snow pea pods, about a quarter of a pound. All right, now we're ready to build the dish. It's so easy. All you do is take snow pea pods and lay them down the center of a piece of foil. This is about 12 inches in length. Just about 10, 12 snow peas. And then we've got carrots. These are cut into matchstick shapes. And then, of course, our star ingredient, salmon. And we're gonna lay that right on top. And just season that with a little bit of kosher salt or coarse salt and pepper. All right, so the sauce. This is my favorite part about the recipe. We're gonna just spoon the sauce over the fish, just like that, about a tablespoon or so. We're just gonna fold this up into a pouch. You wanna make two folds at the top and then you wanna fold the sides in and do it nice and tight because the fish is going to steam inside the packet. All right, place it on a baking sheet. I already did three a little bit earlier. My oven is at 400 degrees and we'll bake it for about 18 minutes. It's been 18 minutes and our fish is done. Easy. Okay. I'll tell you, if you're looking for a recipe to make for company, something kind of gourmet, then this is the recipe for you. And if you're looking for a recipe, say, to make for your family for a Wednesday night, this is your recipe. It's really versatile and it's so easy to make and everything is done. Be careful sometimes, a little bit of steam comes out. And there you have it. And I'm gonna place it on a plate with some rice. You can use white rice or brown rice. Got a little bit of fruit salad on the side. And then we can drape those vegetables right over the fish. And one final touch, we'll just sprinkle with some toasted sesame seeds. You are ready for dinner. That salmon is so moist. The veggies are still crispy and crunchy. It's a delicious meal makeover. I'm Liz Weiss.